in my eyes. Like my eyes ain't even up. <laughs> channel if you're new and if you're not and you're coming back hey my name is curdy Ann and my youtube name is curdy k if you guys are new make sure you hit that subscribe button it is currently 5 32 honestly it is too early way too early but i have college and college classes and my first class today starts at 7 30 and out of an hour away and i had to take public transportation p.s if you didn't watch my last video i did get my license but we don't have a car yet so we have to take public transportation i'm about to do my skincare let's get into it and i'm gonna talk to you guys why i even did a morning class i didn't want to but i had no choice honestly but first i'm gonna show you what i'm about to put on my face i'm about to put on two serums vitamin c and niacinamide and also hyaluronic acid um i'm putting on the hyaluronic acid while my face is still a little damp because it works better when your face is a little damp but anyways, y'all, let's get into why I even am waking up this early and how it's been. I've been doing this for, I guess you want to say three weeks now. I'm guessing this is like the fourth or third week. Um, I don't like it, but at the same time, it has its pros and cons. I only did this because I needed this specific class and they did not have another spot available. Sometimes God does stuff in his own way, as we already know. One con, you're definitely losing sleep. I literally got four hours of sleep yesterday. I was, j I'm really like out of, I'm really not running off of anything right now. Another con, that's like the biggest con, just having to wake up really early and just like pushing your body to get out of bed. Because one thing about your flesh, especially when it's cold, it's going to want to stay in them covers. It's not going to want to get up. Your flesh don't want nothing good for you. Always remember that. Your flesh will take anything that feels good for the flesh and knowing it's bad for you and don't care. Because at the end of the day, the flesh is going to stay here. When God comes back for his people, the flesh is not going. Our spirit goes. So we need to feed our spirit so that our spirits are way more powerful over our flesh but yeah that's the cons i can't really think of no other cons i will say the trains are a little bit more packed now and the buses you would think because it's the morning it would be a little bit more less people but it's actually more people ironically uh, for the pros there's one the trains and the bus work like that they're always on time they might be a little delayed or they might stop a little but most of the times they're running like that the train that I take, it skips half of the stops. One thing I like about this is the sun is not up yet. So once I leave my house, it's still dark. So I like to play like worship music. And when I tell y'all, it hits. Like it hits at this time. I literally was on the bus like what, Monday? And I was playing worship music. And I literally was, I was like crying. I was about to, I was crying. I had to take a picture because I'm like, am I really crying on this bus? Look at me, look at my hot mess. <laughs> Y'all don't mind how my face look, but I was looking a hot mess. I was tearing up, y'all. It was just, you know, it just felt really nice. So that's like a pro. I like the vibes with the gospel music and the time of day. All right, let's get into this hair. 
Another pro, it helps you to be a morning person because me personally, I am not a morning person. I like to, to sleep. I love to sleep. So it just pushes you to be a morning person because I realize that on other days that I don't have to wake up this early, I tend to try to wake up early to get what I need to get done. And I do like that, waking up, you know, a little bit early because you finish a lot of stuff and it feels like your day is a little bit longer. But yeah, yeah, that's mostly the pros and the cons. Um, overall... We only have to do this for a couple more months and then we are done, so it's okay. Um, now let's get into my hair. I'm not sure what I want to do with my hair, y'all. I can't wait to take these out. Y'all, I'm going away, um, not next week, the week after next. I'm going to Purity Conference. Yes, y'all, I am very excited. This is my first time going away for Purity Conference. And my first Purity Conference for my church was last year. Um, I also make an anniversary, one year anniversary with my church. I think I made it, what, last month? So I've been to this church for a year now. And I, I love my church. I really do. I love everyone in my church. They have helped me grow so much with God and just grown spiritually. And, like, aside from spiritually growing, like, mentally as well like you know how i see the world i see the world a little bit different now than how i would before so i'm definitely grateful for even like finding that church and you know what's ironic about that that church is right next to my house and i've been living here for like 10 plus years and when i started my journey with the lord that's when i found that church and the thing that's ironic about that because I used to go to a church that my mom used to go to and I just did not feel the spirit there. I did not feel like welcome there. And then when I was coming back home from that church, I saw someone giving out flyers for the church that I previously go to now. It's like a toy drive. I didn't go to the toy drive, but then the next Sunday I went to the church and I just, you know, went to just see, you know, how it was. When I tell you, I felt so loved and I just felt like, um, that welcoming family I loved it and from then I just kept going and I think the next week um I got baptized in Jesus name it was just it was just like it was love at first sight I guess you could say that so I'm definitely grateful um yeah so I am gonna vlog my pretty conference because y'all yeah, this is my first pretty conference retreat yeah. but yeah I have no idea what I'm gonna do I'm just thinking about wearing it to the side because I honestly don't want too much tension on my hair. No, I'm just gonna do my regular degular. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up and then put claw clips and call it a day. I don't know. One thing I noticed once you up and you know you used to take a shower and you wash your face, you don't feel as tired, but you do feel a little like jet lag, if that's the right word. Like you, f I feel delayed sometimes. <laughs> this class that I have in the at 7:30, it is like two hours long, and it's a math class. Two hours long plus you live in math and I'm delayed at this time. I remember the teacher asked me a question. That's why I hate asking him sometimes because he will come up to you and ask mad loud talking about and want you to solve something and I don't have the calculator right in front of me. And he asked me something and when I tell you I looked at that man and I was like I don't even know what I said. Like anyways y'all so I'm just like putting it up like this. See, like, I don't even know if I showed y'all that right. That's what I mean. I'm telling you, I'm delayed. I don't know what's going on. And then I'm going to clip it up. Let me show you. Yeah, so I just like that little hairstyle. I've been doing it for a minute. <coughs> yeah, let's cross out. Oh, wait. No, I crossed it out last time. See, this is what I'm talking about. I just don't know what's going on. Look at my edges. I do it. I don't, why is it so close, y'all? Like, y'all are so close. Y'all wouldn't be that close to me. Like, okay. Anyways, doing my edges is definitely therapeutic. I don't know. If, I don't think that's just me. I think that's just a girl thing. Like, when you got edges and you do them, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just therapeutic. Time check. It is, ooh, it is 5.47. I am having too much fun. I don't have any snacks today, and I don't want to buy anything because you girl is trying to save money. Hello, we just got our license. What do you think we're saving for? We gotta save up for two things now. That business and that car. All right, y'all. So, yeah, we're definitely not buying anything outside. Yeah, I am so glad I got my license. This is so random, but like, <clears throat> I got my license, y'all. I just want a car, okay? So, 
we are gonna be saving for that y'all and i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i know i could do it they're just gonna take time okay but yeah y'all i'm about to go put on my clothes i don't even know what i'm wearing today it's almost six o'clock i'm about to put on my clothes y'all so i'm gonna see you guys in a minute all right y'all so i put on my clothes i just put on this red this white <laughs> This white um, t-shirt with these pinkish skirt. This used to be a cargo pants, but one of my friends at my church turned it into a skirt. Let me try to show y'all the bottom. It's like this is the bottom with a slit. Depending on the time, I will usually eat or take breakfast to go. I'm gonna take breakfast to go just so I can ensure that I reach to school on time. And I'm gonna catch the 626 bus. Let me put my smell good. Valentino. I got this one on Christmas. My phone. I'll just put it in here for now. My bag is packed. Alright, okay, I'm about to go make breakfast. See y'all in the kitchen. Bye y'all. Hey guys, we're in the kitchen. We're gonna make a sandwich. Uh, like an egg and bacon sandwich. Like a like a like a like a Hey guys, so um, my bus comes in six minutes. That's basically my 5 a.m. morning routine. It's nothing special. We just get up, get ready, do our little skincare, make breakfast, make our coffee, and leave. I hope you guys enjoyed my 5 a.m. morning routine. I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all.